Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Android developers encounter. Our viewer is trying to set the DSCP value in the IP header using UDP sockets, UDP sockets in their Android app. They're following a specific example, but are running into some challenges. Alright guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video. Cheers! To address the issue of setting the DSCP value in your Android app, let's first understand what DSCP is. DSCP stands for Differentiated Services Code Point which is used to classify packets for quality of service in networking. In your code, you are attempting to set the DSCP value using the method socket.setTraffic class. This is the correct approach, but there are a few considerations to keep in mind. One important point is that the DSCP value you set may not be reflected in the packets if the underlying network or emulator does not support it. Make sure that your testing environment allows for DSCP manipulation. Additionally, you mentioned using the command system.setProperty java.net prefer IPv4 stack true. This command is generally used to prefer IPv4 over IPv6, but it does not directly affect DSCP settings. Finally, if you are still facing issues, consider testing on a physical device instead of an emulator, as emulators may have limitations regarding network configurations. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The code works on an Android device, like the Samsung Galaxy S4, but not on the emulator. You can't set the IPv4 stack property at runtime, but you can still set the DSCP value without it. If you're looking to change the DSCP value in an IP header using a simple Java program outside of Android, check out a helpful Stack Overflow answer. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.